This is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today we are going to take a look at Space Girls and Aliens by Deborah Muller. A little glossy front cover and the back cover of her books is always the same with a list of, of uh, some of her uh, previous works. Now this list does change but everything else is the same and let's take a look. So we start with this book belongs to Paige and off we go with some space girls like that. And some aliens like that. So this is Amazon paper, so you know what to expect from that. The pages are single-sided and the backs of the pages are in nice clean white. The images seem to all be framed, which is something that I appreciate because then you don't have to color off the page and you're not coloring into the gutter. Now I think we can probably push this over. No, I've, I've, I'm too far into the book. So there appear to be more space girls than there are aliens and I guess I was kind of expecting expecting or hoping for probably more aliens than space girls but that's fine the, the space girls are just as interesting to color as the aliens Deborah Muller is a fantastic illustrator her pictures are fun whether it's a goth book, a whimsical book, or just a weird book <laughs> like this one. I don't think you can peg this into uh, a peg hole. Interesting. Oh, I love this one. It was quite an interesting uh, being. And yes, the space girls do get their man or they're it. <laughs> now is she a space girl or an alien or both? Deborah Muller always has such beautiful bold line work. It's not over the top bold though. You can uh, you can white out the lines that you don't want in your picture. And that's the end of the book. On this page we have all of Deborah's social media. You can find her all sorts of places. And then we have a final page that you can use for scratch paper. So once again we are looking at Space Girls and Aliens by Deborah Muller.